What is ecstasis? Everybody's always asking me, what do you mean you live in ecstasis? I want to tell you exactly what that means today. Ecstasis is a state of mind. It's a conscious reality. On a scientific level, I would tell you that ecstasis is somewhere in between the deep end of alpha brain waves, all the way working, all the way through delta. It uh, can you can operate and really enter into flow states through ecstasis, in ecstasis, or most of the time, what I experience is a very deep rest. Uh, a lot of people will tell you they feel drowsy when their brain waves get into ecstasis, but a very deep rest, uh, ecstasy, physical sense of euphoria in my body. This is the place where I can begin. This is between four and seven hertz, right moving right over into delta. And this is the place where you're not quite asleep, but you feel like you are. Most people experience this. The small children experience it all the time, like small, small children before the first birthday. Most people only experience it right before they go to sleep. That's why in the subconscious programming video I did here, I talk about right before you fall asleep and the first thing in the morning when you wake up, practice saying some of your mantras or affirmations to begin to reprogram subconscious thinking away from something if they're not ex so that's where the normal person you're watching this you're not normal you're probably experiencing theta or ecstasis in deep states of meditation or in some sort of trance like trance induced state whether that might be through uh, psilocybin or THC or just you've learned like, I have how to access the anamides and dopamine and all that stuff in the brain but this nice beautiful wavelength of theta is what what I would scientifically talk about is happening in ecstasis the Bible talks about how any of you at it every powerful move of of God I'd mention in the Bible happened when a man or woman were fucking out of their mind. Peter, one passage in the New Testament, he goes up on the rooftop and he has this wide open trance. Now up until this point, they've been dealing with so much racism and uh, and isms in their culture where they didn't want to talk to the Greeks and they thought that they were impure and Peter being a good Jew, he goes up on the rooftop and he has this crazy vision in which he's completely out of his mind. He's completely out of an out-of-the-body experience. Now, he's not into deep theta because if he were into deep theta, there wouldn't be a self-image. His self-image is coming in still. And so he's not in the deep theta, but he's somewhere in the middle of the theta brainwave where most people are experiencing... Um, uh, most people are experiencing uh, co right in the regular conscious walking time they're experiencing beta brain waves and not theta and and so he's they're experiencing those and that's where all your stress anxiety fear your cognitive thinking is coming in so Peter's used to that this is abnormal to Peter it's kind of crazy to think that back several thousand years ago one of the largest religious systems of our day began from a group of people that weren't actually out of their mind that were just having moments or experiences and now we're in a state of consciousness where we can you can I can I've been experiencing this since 2010 walk in a higher state of consciousness and live a multi-dimensional existence where you are the life that's swallowing up the linear time, where you are the life that's swallowing up the three-dimensional realities that are being perceived by the ocular, by your sight. And uh, this is an absolutely incredible place to live. I will never exist anywhere else. Once you begin to step into this Eden, into this Nirvana, you'll, there's nowhere else to go. You'll never again want to or even consciously think that there's the possibility to go anywhere else. 
This is the place where you're so fucking satisfied that you could have nothing. Everything can be taken away, and you're still so satisfied. You can be thrown in jail, you can be thrown in isolation, still so satisfied. Because you're right in a state, you can take it all the way to the edge, where you're actually still conscious of a self, but that self is so merged with the universe. So in the deep, in the deep end of Theta, right before you enter into Delta Mind Waves, this is... Uh, in the, if I were going to diagram ecstasis for you, this is uh, right before, right as the warning sign coming up, if you can't swim, don't fucking go down in here. This is the place where you begin to lose all consciousness of yourself and you enter into a full on, a full, fa -wa 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 -wa, full blown <sighs> ecstatic state of oneness. Where there is no you and someone else that you're trying to theoretically experience oneness with, but where there is a complete merging. There is no there is not a self even to merge anymore. There's just a oneness. This is that place, guys, and it's so beautiful, man. Nothing like it. Nothing nothing like it in the whole world, man. Hmm. I had many moments of ascension up until 2010, but in 2010, the moment happened where my body, which your, your body is a light body, whether you've realized it or not, but my body is manifesting at a very, a very different frequency, and it began to manifest, and it started with my mind, and my, the rest of my body began to uh, pick up this high, this this. And by high, I mean high frequency or deep frequency of ecstasis. And uh, that's what ecstasis is for. Ecstasis is for the avatar. It's for the body and mind that is experientially perceiving the world around it. So if you want to begin to step into ecstasis, check out the video on subconscious programming. Check out the video on... Uh, also check out the video on where I talk about heaven's manna, but if you want to step over into ecstasis, one of the most important things is to begin to realize you're going to have to let go of everything. There are all kinds of frequencies that can help move your mind into this state, and you can experience this again meditatively, you can experience it through frequencies on YouTube, you can experience it in lots of different ways, but they're, none of those ways are perpetual. You can experience it through psychedelic trips, but it's not perpetual. It's not an eternal or an infinite state. To move, in, to move into the infinite or multidimensional body, uh, to ascend into that body away from this, uh, the, zero, the zero dimensional body, or linear time mind, linear time body, you have to be willing to let all of it go. Unless a man loses his life, you won't find it. You have to let all of it go. And in actuality, guys, you're not letting anything go. You're not letting anything go. Once you let go and you open up your sails and you begin to sail off into ecstasis, you, trust me, you will not regret it. Listen, I hope you have an, a, an amazing day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you fucking play.